Hello and welcome. So, I'm doing some more Rome 2. This is the last game I have uh, saved, which I want to watch again and cast, I guess. I guess it's that. It's called Yeah Cab Pike. This is because I got excited that I can basically have a army that I find that I really like. <laughs> what I feel like is a proper Macedonian army. So I've got a lot of cav, although I pr usually use shot cav. Um, and then a big pike wall against this enemy army, which is a, quite an interesting army. I'm not too sure what he was trying to do, but this is these two I've sworn really really effective infantry like close combat naked swords high attack low defense and then spearmen well, i guess they're good against cat like to take cav and then pretty good cav i guess these are pretty good cav i can't really remember what, what cav they are but i've just realized using audacity i can actually cancel out a lot of background noise so all my background noise issues so far are really quite unnecessary although it's quite fiddly because if I try and remove too much background noise I remove noise that isn't there it's like quite a simple function I believe so I try and remove noise that isn't there and it just makes it worse so I've got five forex pikemen hoping to give myself a decent pike front and I've got one companion cab and two setters of cab my idea with this is basically cav superiority hit them with the companion cav which have ridiculous charge bonus Smash their cav of that, then engage them with the citizen cav and just mop them up. Uh, I've got three uh, Rodian slingers and three javelins. I couldn't get enough money for two units of um, like Thracian javelins who do a lot more damage or light peltists, so I decided to go instead for three javelin men. I could have gone for one and two maybe. I don't know. So he's got heavy horse, heavy horse on this flank, and noble horse, noble horse. Will they'll beat my com citizen cav, but not my companion cav? I believe if my companion cav gets a decent charge, so then melee cav, yeah. So my companion cav should be able to kill these. And these are roughly the same citizen cav. So I see him running out, and I'm like, I'll hit him, hit him with my companion cav, because my companion cav will smash him to pieces. So he's got, as I said before, he's got sk his skirmishers. These are good. But you have to get him close. That's the problem. And he, he has got... I suppose that's why he's got scorpions. To force me to come close. Because scorpions have 350 range. Which is what like... Two and a third times the range of my slingers. Which is somewhat of an issue. So if he leaves his scorpions at the back. He can hit my guys. Without me being able to hit him. And then if, if I move into range. Um... He can hit me with his, other, his slingers and he just start firing. Which is not good. Not good for me. So I'm moving my cav around the back because I've realised he can't... I have both flanks. I have cav superiority on both flanks. This, I get a little bit over eager with these, but, I, but we're still far enough away that I can react in time and get my uh, pikes out in front. I realise he's still coming. Oh, I did realise he was still coming. So I try and get some shots off against this heavy horse, but I don't get that many. In the meantime, I am taking a few casualties from the scorpion. He should really be shooting at my pike instead of his scorpion. I think he starts to. But yeah, I've got complete cav superiority on both flanks. So I feel pretty safe just ru like just running my cav around the sides. Getting a little bit out of position. My pike should be able to deal with his horse. It's not like it's quick horse, but I'm taking... I am taking casualties from um, the Ballista which I d or the Celtic Scorpion, which I really don't want to be doing right now. So I'm trying to move into a position where I can start shooting. And I believe I'm moving into... I was m moving into range to try and take out his skirmishers quick as quickly as possible, kill his Celtic skirmishers, then move on to killing his Scorpion. But he's try he keeps trying to do this, he keeps trying to do this, and attack my uh, guys and I don't have them on skirmish mode I don't think so this is me running them away and then he comes too close and my javelins get a load of shots off so I'm very quickly destroying him cav wise which is really, re a really nice feeling being a player who really likes Masson now he's come out here and he's trying to come around the back but he 
doesn't have enough men anymore. And also, even if he did kill these, this is even if this was a full unit, this is an expensive unit hitting very cheap javelins. And I have my companion cav coming around to destroy them. I thought these two citizen cav probably take as noble cav on their own, maybe. But if an if anything, they'd be able to stop his noble cav for long enough to, for me to get this unit back out and around. So I just destroy these with like quantity of missile fire. Although he does route these, but I believe they come back from routing. These have like no route 25. So he's trying to come around the back now with these. Uh, and I just pull this companion cav that's handily behind my lines out. I think he's looking to destroy this unit so it can't come back from routing. But I'm getting some good shots off. I'm taking quite a few casualties to my pikes, which I wasn't particularly happy about. And I was quite worried about actually. So I get, I get a charge in. He's not even charging. So look at that, I've taken out what, did I take out six? Oh, did it not calculate, okay. But I've, look, I've taken them down rather quick. I haven't lost a companion cab yet. He is doing a lot of damage to my pikes. These skirmishes are rather good against pikes. I moved my javelins up, I'm hoping he wouldn't do this, he wasn't going to notice. So I get a few shots off, I put these not on skirmish mode. In the hope that he would, well, just hit one and then be caught up there long enough. But he's, the, I always do this and it's really annoying. I've left my skirmishers out of the way and he's just going to charge his cav through and kill it. And I have pulled a unit of citizen cav off to help win this fight as quickly as possible. But I have not. I'm, I would win it quite quickly if my compa just my companion cav. This has forced me to now pull my companion cav out. So I, I am getting there. I am getting superiority but I've lost a unit of pikes I keep reforming my front I'm trying to keep this as a shield so I can mop up his calf and here I do manage to finally get him a bit of my calf although he's now going for my javelins which have come back from routing I'm still trying desperately to win a skirmish fight I think I am slowly getting there these guys have big shields for skirmishers so they don't take too many casualties here, finally mopping up his horses, although my horse is now super out of position. Over here, he, he gets a charge, he charges his skirmishes and my skirmishes, and I just pull my uh, pikes around to attack them, but then I realise these units are going to get my pikes in the back, which I really do not want. So I react a little late to this, but I do get some pikes down, as you can see, and that does mow his units down, seeing as these are light and they're using their mass to attack the forest pipe. They do not, they are not good <laughs> charging pikes head on. That was really unfortunate for him because he almost got the back of my pipes. That was very lucky on my behalf. Here, slowly mopping up his noble cav. If we look here though, I still haven't lost that many companion cav. And they've like chopped their way through two of his cav units. Maybe even three? I don't, I'm not entirely sure how much my guys have done. So I'm moving out. I've got cab superiority. I've left these units here in the hopes that he doesn't actually move. He leaves a couple of units to deal with them. Um, and then I can, I'm trying to mop him up piecemeal or force him into a position where he does charge my pike straight on. Now these oath sworn are a massive threat. I think they can actually charge, they should be able to charge these straight on and be able to deal with them. So I'm focusing them down, also here look, they throw their javelins and just devastate this unit, and then this unit isn't going to be able to do much. I do get a few kills, over here, doing slightly better, I pull this unit off, I'm hoping to pin with this unit and then take this unit inside, here I'm trying to move that unit round, here he snuck round the side and routed these, the problem is now that I do, I am hitting him in the back with my pike, and this is quite a well replenished unit, I've got a Scorpions out finally, and here, I think I had a unit of pikes here that got destroyed. But I'm, I've realised that I've got enough cavs that I can actually take like his spears out. These spear warriors aren't that great, although they have activated their versus cav massive bonus thing, which is annoying. But I just hit them both sides with loads of cav, just destroyed them. These cavs do have bonus versus infantry. Here. I'm not doing particularly well. These units should be attacking, but they aren't. Here, this is lucky. This is a lucky engagement for me. Two units 
straight in the front. He could probably win this fight if he pulled one around the side. His O Swan are just chopping my guys to pieces, so I'm hitting them with Cav. Or they stick there, almost like Roman legionaries. But I have so much more than him now. I've just I'm just swamping his O Swan with Cav. I'm trying to get my uh, companions out to try and get a charge in. I think these okay. These are tired. So he's trying to get a rear charge in on against these. I'm trying to reform these. I don't know what they do. I think with Pikes it's best not to try and click and reform. Look at that. Look at that. What on earth are they doing? It's best not to reform them. Um, and then I try and charge out here with my companions, although they get stuck with these mercenary Iranian slingers. And uh, getting a few shots off into this unit, which is really lucky, just across everything. And I'm going to bring this unit around and hit them. Whilst uh, I've left my melee cav in with his, his oath sworn, hoping to, like, just try and kill as many as possible. They are like legionaries, they are hard to kill, and I've mopped this unit up. I've hit this unit with cav. You know, they are spears and they are good against cav, but these are quite cheap spears. And I am getting quite good charges on them, and I'm finally routing this unit with swan. Finally. But it takes me quite some time. Here, I've got my pikes in one side a little bit. They should really be engaging more. And I'm trying to charge, like, hit them with charges of my companion cap. This might be a slight error in the recording. Because I think I had these much more surrounded. Here, his spears haven't actually routed. Uh, but I decided just to run. I decided just to run my guys in out of phalanx. Because I have enough. And spears are against best against cav. My guys are best in pikes, you know, pretty even fight without, so I thought I'd just engage them and hit them again with the cab and win. Here's Oswan finally being surrounded, hit with pikes on one side and charged with companion cab route. This unit I pretty much destroyed. There's like one or two guys here and there. So that was a good game, and hopefully I'll be able to remove the, uh, the background audio from this. Because my computer's really loud, and hopefully, because my fault, if you notice my last few Fallout games, or Fallout uh, episodes were horrible, horrible background noise. So hopefully I'll be able to get rid of that as well, right? Goodbye.